Oh man, I gotta I gotta call Mike about this. Oh shit. Hello? Hey, hey, what's up, Mike? Hey, what's up, dude? Did you hear about that space news? No, what's going on? Uh, this this company called Strato Launch. I've never heard of them. What what, what are they doing? They they're teaming up uh, with a uh, SpaceX, I guess, to use an airplane to launch a rocket into space. With SpaceX? Are you kidding me? Yeah, dude. You you haven't heard about this? Oh. Really? <laughs> when, when did this happen? Like today? Huh. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm I'm gonna go home right now and check this out. For real, man. Oh my god. Thanks, man. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is This is so cool. This is Oh my gosh. I don't think I've been this excited since I made the Nautilus X video. You just got to see this thing. I'm so excited about this. So excited about this because this is a real spaceship. This isn't just a small crew capsule. This is a real spaceship. I mean, just look at this thing. Just look at this thing. That's so awesome. This is amazing. What I'm talking about is Strato Launch Services. And uh, they announced yesterday that, well, let me backtrack. Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft with Bill Gates, uh, he partnered up with Burt Rutan uh, to build Spaceship One for the Ansari X Prize, which they won in 2004. And then uh, Richard Branson came along and uh, based the design off that to build uh, the, the Spaceship Two. Richard Branson is responsible for that. Obviously, that was engineers who designed that. Um, but now, Paul Allen has returned into the space arena by coming up with Strata Launch Systems, which is a contractor who is subcontracting out SpaceX, Dynetics, and scaled composites to build the coolest freaking vehicle I've seen in a long time. They're building an air launch vehicle, which is going to be huge. It's going to be probably the biggest airplane that's ever been constructed. Two 747s. And the thing's going to launch a Falcon 5 or 4 rocket. SpaceX canceled that design in favor of the Falcon 9 rocket, and now they're coming back with that whole thing to have a medium launcher, but it's the common core booster. It's the same size in diameter as the Falcon 9 rocket. So it could have a Dragon capsule on board to deliver cargo and eventually humans. <sighs> this is so cool. I mean, they're talking about doing this whole thing, uh, the, the like the first initial like test flights and launches will be in 2015, and the first orbital launch they're looking at maybe 2016. That's still a long ways off, but <sighs> this is just too cool. This is giving uh, all of us space geeks something to be excited about. This is <sighs> this is awesome. You know, ever since I got into this whole space thing, I always thought that the whole air launch idea was really awesome. I mean, I, I heard about T-Space and uh, uh, Gary Hudson and his whole idea, and then obviously found out about Spaceship One and Two, and thought that it was awesome, and thinking, you know, why isn't this idea pursued a little bit more, and why aren't we using this idea for an orbital launch? And now here it comes, and I've also wondered, you know, where the heck has Paul Allen been? You know, he's done all this stuff with Spaceship One, and he's like one of, he's like the 57th richest person in the world or something like that. He's worth over like 13 billion dollars. I mean, that's the guy we want to have, you know, funding stuff for, for space enterprises. And now here he is, and he's got his own company, he's pretty much pulled up Elon Musk on us, and he's collaborating with some of the awesome, probably the coolest companies out there. I mean, this is awesome, and not only do they have awesome people working for them, they have ex-NASA people working for them. Mike Griffin, the ex-administrator of NASA, is one of the chair members of the company, as well as Gwen Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, and they also have uh, ex-shuttle astronauts and, 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 and NASA employees working for them. I mean, this is really cool, and this is something that could definitely be propelled into the future. I mean, you know, NASA's talking about having, you you know, the space launch system and not having their first, you know, human test flight until maybe like 2020, 21. <sighs> With this, it could be done so much earlier. And, and obviously, you know, there's other things that are probably going to be done earlier. Like I think that Falcon 9 will probably launch a person first, but <sighs> this is just so cool. Stratolotch Systems definitely has my stamp of approval. And... <sighs> 
I support them 100%, and I hope that that everything's successful and they make this happen. So, good luck, Straddle Launch Systems, and thank you for watching my video about this whole idea. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Dastevania, merci, arrivederci. Um, yeah, don't know too many languages. I'll see you guys later.